What is going on guys? My name is Pokey Rev and welcome to the Pokey Cave. Guys, today we are doing something epic. We're opening up a booster box all the way back from the year 2000. The box is worth over $6,000. I'm talking about, of course, a first edition Gym Challenge booster box. The top five biggest hits in here are going to be Blaine's Charizard coming in at $1,500 to $1,800 in a PSA 10 Venusaur. Persian, Misty's Golduck, um, and Blaine's Arcanine are the top five biggest hits that you can get out of here. All are worth thousands of dollars in a PSA 10 and so many more other hollows. We're going to be cracking into this entire booster box right now. Thank you guys so much for being here. We are live, doing this live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, if we can get this video to 1,500 likes, I will give away two items. So make sure you smash the like button. Let's get going. Here we go. We're going to crack right into the side here. Again, this box is worth over $6,000. So this is going to be one of those openings where you won't really see it anywhere else. It's just so incredibly awesome. So here it is, the wrap it's coming off. There it is. Let's pop the top open. Here we go. Boom. 36 packs coming in hot. Check out all the artworks here. So what we're going to do is take all the packs out. Pull them down like so. Boom. There we go. We got Blaine. Sabrina. We got Koga. And we got Giovanni. These are the four other Kanto gym leaders that they did not have in Gym Heroes, which was the set before this one. So like we always do here in the Poke Cave, we're going to start mixing them up like so. We're going to give them a good mix. Very gentle with these packs because they're about 20, yeah, about 20 years old now. So over 20 years old. So we're going to mix them up nice and good. And thank you guys so much again for being here. For this live opening, guys, of an entire first edition Gym Challenge Booster Box. Again, this set is absolutely insane because the pulls in here, there's 20 different hollows, first of all, that you can get out of here. All different Gym Leaders Pokemon. The hollow cards in here are, like, absolutely insane. The artwork is some of the best in Pokemon history, in my opinion, back in the Wizards of the Coast days. And like I said, guys... There's 36 packs here. We're pretty much opening almost every single one of them. And you guys let me know if you've ever seen an entire first edition Gym Challenge booster box get opened on YouTube. So here it is. Let's get started. Coming in with the first person is going to be Luke K. And Luke K is getting two packs. And like we do every time, we start on the left side here. And boom. So here the two packs are, guys. We have Koga and Blaine. So let's jump into it and get started. We got Nick D with the super chat. Rev my boy. Geeked up for this, bro. Good to see you here, Nick. Always a pleasure. Richard Lee. Uh, Sabrina is my favorite gym leader. Hey, that is awesome. Sabrina, if you guys remember the episode of Pokemon back in the day with Sabrina, that was probably one of the most memorable ones in my opinion. But okay, so here we go. I believe, I always forget to check, but I think it's going to be three from the back. So hopefully we're right here. JB, this is your favorite set of all time. Favorite Pokemon is Arcanine. So let's get it started here, guys. We got a Saffron City Gym. Sabrina's Haunter. Check it out. This is an uncommon card. Really awesome. We got a first edition Water Energy. And all these cards, guys. This I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is a first edition box. Which means this was the first print run of this. Koga's Coughing. Misty's Poliwag. Blaine's Mankey. We got Deke in the house. Today is my birthday, and I'm using one up wish for all of you to get some pulls. Hey, everybody wish Pokedeek happy birthday. He's a regular here. Really awesome person. So everybody wish Pokedeek a happy birthday. So here we go. We're coming up here. We got a Misty's Wish. Blaine's Quiz number three. Oh, and that is... Did I mess it up? Oh, I did mess it up. So I think it's four from the back. The Misty's Wish is actually going to be the rare guy. So here it is. Misty's Wish. So check it out. That is the rare. So, so far we got no hollow for Luke K, but we got one more pack. So let me see if I could do this again. I'm going to do four from the back. Everybody, I love it. Everybody's wishing Deke a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Deke. Always great to have you here. 
So here we go. We're going to do four from the back. One, two, three, four. Hopefully that is correct. So here we go. Okay, yes, we got a Sabrina's Psychic Control. Guys, that reminds me of the original Pokemon anime when Sabrina, when they went there and they battled Erica's Bulbasaur. Now, guys, let me tell you something. The, the, the non holo cards in this set are worth money. Like, this card is probably worth, like, 50 bucks in a PSI 10. Some of these cards are so hard to find. Um, even the non holos you'd be surprised. I'm going to show you guys if we pull some non holos out of here that are worth a good amount of money in a PSA 10. So, here we go. The market on these, even for the non holos in a PSA 10, are just, it's really hard to find. So, we got a Giovanni's Nidoqueen. So, unfortunately, you did not get a holo out of here but these are going to be all your cards and i would highly suggest um great an amount if you think you can get a bunch of tens coming up on here so what i'm going to do luke is i'm going to put your cards in one of these sleeves so we can keep them nice protect it and close together so they don't move around much and there we go and boom and guys like always i got the bags ready to go i'm thinking ahead nowadays so we don't want to keep you guys waiting we just want to get right into the vintage goodness so how is everybody doing tonight? Uh, what is today? It's Tuesday. I'm losing track of my days because of all the craziness that's going on in the world. Uh, so hopefully everybody's having a good Tuesday. We're coming up next with Christopher B. Christopher B is going to be grabbing one pack out of here. So here we go, guys. Christopher B. Everybody wish Christopher B good luck. And I like how I like what we have here with the lineup. Uh, most people looks like most there's a lot of people involved with this one. So a lot of people grabbed. One pack or two packs at the most for the for the most part. So we got a lot of people um, that are coming up on here. So that is always good. The more people that come up, the better. So we got four from the back. So that way more people can get involved with this. So we got a Master Ball, Blaine's Quiz number two, Koga's Golbat. We got a Lightning Energy, Erica's Oddish. Look at the artwork on these guys. Just take a second to take this in. This is all the way back from the year 2000. Misty's Magic Carp. Now, this is one that I saw sell recently. I believe it was for $75 because there are Magic Carp fans out there um, and a lot of different Pokemon species where they have huge fan bases. The cards go for a lot. Like this Growlithe, I'm sure this Growlithe in a PSA 10 is worth a good amount of money. It's just a popular Pokemon. Same thing with Ghastly. It is a common, but they're hard to find. So here we go. We got to and this one. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, guys. Like, I would not see, I mean, this card, probably 50 bucks. At least, so here we go. Yes, there it is, guys. The Misty's Goldock, one of the best hits you could get out of here. Coming in hot, guys. This one's worth like eighteen hundred dollars to two grand in a PSA ten, guys. So we gotta check this card out. Let's get it close up here and see how we're looking on this one. So right off the bat, I'm seeing the centering is not uh, very good. It's it's off left to right here, so. I think that's going to be too off to be a PSA 10 for sure. Uh, but in a PSA 9, I think this card's going for about 150 bucks. Um, but let's check out the hollow anyway and see how it's looking. So we got a really good looking hollow here. You guys take a look and you tell me if you see anything. I see a little, I think, okay, I see a couple little print lines there as well. So this one's not going to hit the 10, unfortunately. Still an amazing hit to get out of here. Let's check out the back as well. So this one, I would say, is looking definitely more like a PSA 9. Around 150 bucks, uh, of course. I always forget something, guys. We need the card savers. I always, you can count on me. Here we go, to forget things. But here we go. We got the card savers now. You want to put these in card savers to keep them nice and protected. You send these out to PSA to get graded, and voila. Here we go. So Misty's going like the first big hit of the night. Unfortunately, this one, again, it's not going to hit a PSA 10, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, guys, still an amazing hit to get out of here. So, out of one pack. So, you can't really beat that. I mean, uh, Christopher got one pack out of here, and it ended up being a hollow. And one of the biggest hits you can get out of here. But guys, we also are looking for the Charizard. Now, it's Blaine's Charizard. So, if you guys remember the anime, these are the gym leaders uh, from back in the day. So, there was uh, Blaine... And that was, he had, I remember he had a Magmar, really, really awesome anime. I, I always just go back and watch season one and season two when I get bored. Let me know if you guys ever go back and watch the first original season of Pokemon. But coming up next, we got Thomas W. Thomas W is going to be getting also one pack. A lot of, like I said, guys, a lot of people in here are going to be getting one pack that is coming up. And guys, make sure you say hi to all the mods that we have in the house. TCG Revival, 
helped me out a lot getting the pricing data for a lot of these cards. Uh, he's my go-to guy for all prices and everything like that. Their links are in the description down below. So here we go. Four from the back, coming in hot. Boom, Chris, I actually just graded a PSA 10 Golduck. Oh, so you are the Chris that had these packs, I'm guessing, since your name is Chris. <laughs> but that is crazy. Um, in a first edition, yeah, that card is like worth a ton of money. A Vulpix, Brock's Vulpix, this card's got to be worth a good amount of money in a PSA 10 as well. Another, so check it out, guys. Some of these artworks, you have different versions of it. So two different um, Vulpix. Which one do you guys like the most? I'm definitely going to go with Brock's Vulpix. The fire around it. Spinning out fire is looking really, really nice. The one on the left is looking good too. Um, but the one on the right, I really like. Sabrina's Ghastly. We got a Misty Star You, a Brox Diglett. And guys, the Golduck, that is a really hard grade. So, I mean, it came out of the pack and it wasn't looking the best for a 10 just because that's how it is with a lot of cards. Some of them are a lot harder to grade for whatever reason. Uh, so, this is the rare, it is a Resistance Gym non holo Trainer card. Um, so, here we go. This one is going out to Thomas. But you got a lot of really good non -hollows. Like, um The the Vulpix, both of the Vulpix, I would grade the Sabrina's Ghastly for sure. I mean, you guys look on the market, you're not seeing many, um, you're really not seeing many uh, graded non hollows for these eras of cards. And especially the hollows, forget it. There's there's a ton of hollows in here that I haven't seen in PSA 10 in so long on eBay or anything like that for sale. BS with the Super Chat. What is going on, BS? Good to see you here. Uh, so coming up next, we have... Irving R. All right. I'm sorry. Scratch that. Michael N is coming up first and then Irving. So Michael N is coming up next here with the Koga artwork. Let's see if we can pull out the Charizard. And guys, I am known. I don't want to jinx it, but I am known to be able to pull out Charizards. Uh, I think you guys saw last week multiple Charizards on some occasions. So hopefully we can bring the magic here because this set has the Charizard. Um, and I'm sure everybody's going after that. But besides that, oh, that is a good, that is a really nice artwork. The Sabrina's Kadabra looking really menacing there. Erica's Ivysaur as well. Another awesome one. We got a first edition Grass Energy, Koga's Coughing, Sabrina's Porygon. Oh, another good one. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. Check this card out, guys. Looking really fierce. Blaine's Mankey. Blaine's Ponyta. Koga's Tangela, we're coming up on the last card. A Lieutenant Surge's Jolteon non Hollow Rare. Another card that I would expect in a PSA 10 be worth a good amount of money. I would not be surprised if this sold for like 75 bucks. Uh, so there it is. Um, those cards were going out to Michael N. And here you go, Michael. I'm going to throw your cards in a sleeve. Pete the Pac Man with the Super Chat. Let's get to 500 likes and subs. That would be awesome, guys. And again, if we hit 1,500, I'm going to do two giveaways. Um, in this video, and I'm going to announce it next week. I'm going to announce the winners of last week's as well. We did hit the goal for last week, so there's two winners. Um, and I announced those on my Instagram, so you can always check out. Instagram link is in the description down below if you guys want to follow me there and check out everything that I post. But coming up next is Irving R. So here we go with another one. Marcin in the house with the super chat. Hey, Poker Rev, how's it going? Doing really well. Hope everything is going well with you. I think I saw your name coming up in here. I really love seeing regulars. Uh, it's really cool. We're building a community here of people joining up and everybody is just having fun. So here we go. Uh, this one's for Irving. We got four from the back. Let's see if we can start getting more hollows out of here. So far, we got one hollow, a really big hit. Ooh, I like this Brock's Graveler. That one is looking really good. So here we go. We have the Koga's Ninja Trick. Now, this card was banned um, in the USA, uh, because of the symbol in the back there, they changed it and they made it so it it wasn't offensive. Uh, but this was a card that was banned uh, when they switched the artwork over. There are a few cards in this set where they changed the artworks for the US release. Uh, there were a few things in there. So if we pull any other cards, I'll be sure to let you guys know if they were banned. So here we go. We got a Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, another holo coming up on holo number two. This one is looking really good. If you guys remember, Lieutenant Surge in the anime. So this is really cool. I, this is one of the reasons why I love this set. It connects back to the anime. So if you guys remember, Lieutenant Surge was always going on and on about how you have to evolve your Pikachu to make it stronger so that I can win battles and be the best. Thing was... You don't have to do that, right? You guys saw when Ash went in, 
kicked his butt with the Pikachu. Um, he had to he had to go through the the training to get there. But that is a Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. Um, I think I have the price down here. I don't know off the top of my head. There's so many hollows in here, it's hard to see. But this one around 200 bucks in a PSA 10. Um, so if it were to hit, so the same thing with this one, the centering is off left to right a bit, uh, but this one should at least get a PSA 9. So there it is, guys. Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, another really awesome hit, but there's still plenty of more really nice cards that you can get out of this box, but there it is, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. So congratulations, Irving, on your holo pool out of one pack. That's what I like is when if somebody goes in and gets one pack and you get a holo out of here, it doesn't matter. You know, as long as, if you get a hollow, you're good. So, really awesome. So, there it is. Sleeving this one up, and we're going to keep it moving along here. So, next up, we have Cruise G. Cruise G is also getting one pack. So, here it is. We got two hollows out of here so far. Now, normally, there are about 12 hollows in a box. There can be a little bit more or a little bit less, um, depending on... How it was packed. It's usually 12, though, for Wizards of the Coast era, especially. Jason A with the Super Chat. I've been wanting to buy packs, but they sell out quick. Yes, so the best thing I would recommend doing is staying till the end of the live video. Uh, and that's when I will announce... I really like this artwork as well. Giovanni's Knit Arena. I will announce the next box opening. I do that every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. There we go with the Mr. Mime. That Pokemon has always creeped me out. I don't know what it is about Mr. Mime and Jinx, but stay till the end of every live, and that's when I'll announce the next box that we're opening. Another good hit, Misty's Magikarp. I put it up on the Pokecave.com. I would go over there as soon as I announce it. That's when they go live, so everybody knows at the same time. We're coming up on 700 live viewers. Absolutely insane. Will this be the night that we hit 1,000? We'll have to see, because this set is really awesome. You guys definitely don't want to miss this one. So we got a Giovanni's Last Resort as the non hollow Rare Trainer. So still plenty more hollows to get out of this box. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, make sure you smash the like button. Share the video out as well. And if you're new here to the channel, let me know. Leave a comment down below. We're getting into a lot of uh, a lot of viewers right now. So that can only be one thing. A lot of new people jumping in here. This is the Poke Cave. My name is PokeRev. And let us know. Leave a comment in the live right now. Let everybody know that you're new here. Uh, you're more than welcome here. If you want to hang around for all these different vintage box openings, Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you won't miss any lives on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. You guys do not want to miss these. Coming up next, we have Daniel A. And Daniel A, again, another one-packer. I like it. I like this because you get one pack, and it's it. It's either you get a hollow or you don't, so I like that. So here we go. So we're doing four from the back. There it is. Coming up here. Patrick F, this channel is going above and beyond. Congrats, PokeRev. Keep it up. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. We got a Lieutenant Surge's Eevee, guys. Yes, this is another good hit. People collect Eevees. So if you're an Eevee collector out there, you want to get these types of cards. And another one, a Blaine's Charmeleon. Coming in on a Fighting Energy. Blaine's Rhyhorn. Koga's Weedle. Misty's Psyduck, another good one. I think I saw this one in a PSA 10 sell for like 40 bucks. So if you check this card out, the centering is looking really good on it. I would not be surprised if you get at least 40 bucks for a card like this. Or if you're a collector, you know, why not put it in the collection? Another good one, Blaine's Volpix. This set has really good non hollows It's just some sets, they just have, they hit a lot of the Pokemon that people are really big fans of. So the Brock's Diglett and a Koga's Ditto, another hollow. We got the Ditto himself. Now, if you guys want to check this out, Check out the face there. This card in particular, the good thing about this one is that the actual Pokemon takes up the entire frame here. So it's really easy to grade this one because there's not much hollow. So if you check it out, the hollow is not, there's not too much of it there to, to mess up. So you got that. You got a really good, really good centering on that as well. I would not be surprised if this one got a PSA 10. The back is almost perfect there as well. So there it is. Congratulations. To Daniel A on your hollow pool out of one pack. Really awesome to see that. Grab one pack and you get the hollow. So we're going to throw that in this card saver one. And then, guys, I'm going to grab the rest of the cards here and put them to this side as well. We got a super chat from Pokey A. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, PokerRev, I'm nine and I just started my page a month ago. And I did it because you inspired me to follow my dreams. Hoping to do my first vintage opening soon. Oh, thank you so much. That would is it's really all about there. 
um, is inspiring others to do these things because I had to find inspiration myself as well to, to do this. I've been wanting to, to make a YouTube channel for years now and it was just one day I finally decided to go for it. And that's what you have to do is just jump in and go for it. Go for your goals. Don't let anybody tell you can't do something or that you're not good enough because you can do it. But here we go. Let's keep this going. Next up, we have Sid S. And Sid is getting one pack opened up. So here we go. Have you got a colorless card yet? Starstroke, uh, don't... Uh, for Pokemon, probably, yeah. Um, if there's like a double colorless energy in here or something like that, I have not. So... Here we go, guys. We got Sid S coming in with one pack. Let's see if we can do another one pack magic. I believe so far we got three hollows. I'm gonna try to keep tr keep count this time because I usually I usually lose count. But we're three in, so it's still plenty of hollows to go. Looks like we had a good mix on the packs here. Seems like we're getting a good ratio. Um, so here we go. We got a Master Ball. A Brox Primate. We have not seen this one yet. And this one brings me back again to another episode in the anime. Uh, where there was a Primate that was just attacking like crazy. So, I remember the episode pretty vividly. It's really cool. You can connect it with the anime. I like what they did here. Eric is Oddish. Again, this is one of the best sets. Another Me Misty's Magic card, but another card. Last sold for like 75 bucks. Blaine's Growth, another big one. Sabrina's Glass. So, let's see what we can do. We got a Bro uh, Brox Doug Trio. So a non hollow rare, <clears throat> but guys, hey, it's a non hollow rare all the way back from the year 2000. And guys, I forgot to mention, if you stay to the end, I will show you what the next booster box opening is going to be. So you guys are going to be pretty excited for the, about that. And of course, I forgot to put it next to me. So it's over there. I'll have to run and get it at the end of the video. But here we go, guys. Moving on here. We have somebody coming up next that you guys are probably pretty familiar with. Somebody that has usually has a lot of good luck not usually does have a lot of good luck every single time so far and can we keep the luck rolling in for the one the only alien coming up with three booster packs getting opened up so here it is one two three boom so we got three packs for the man himself alien the man from another planet who always seems to pull the fire you guys saw the other night and the night before just insane pools. So here we go. Everybody, I probably don't have to tell you this. Throw in the alien emojis for the luck. And let's get it going here. Three packs in for alien, a.k.a. Alan. But I think by now everybody knows you as alien. Yes, I'm seeing the emojis coming in. I don't even need to say it. You guys, here it is. Showing the support. We're at 750 live viewers. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for being here. We got a Lieutenant Surge's Eevee, a Sabrina's Haunter. So, so far, Alien, you got two really big non hollows coming out of here. Here it is. And another one. This is the other Magic Carp that's really good to pull as well. Okay, so, so far, most of your non hollows have been really nice. Another one, Psyduck. Of course, I'm really starting to think here, Alien, that you actually are from another planet and you somehow can control what you pull out of your packs but let's see another Psyduck these are really good hits guys like there are huge Psyduck fans out there huge fans of all these other cards that you're pulling what are we gonna get a Koga's Muck non hollow but hey all of your non hollows in here were really good pulls we're gonna do the one and only Giovanni next one of the most menacing gym leaders the ultimate gym leader you face at the end I'm sorry guys these packs are also pretty hard to open for some reason I can already see a Psyduck in here another Huge non hollow You guys are absolutely destroying the live chat with the alien emojis. A Kogus Pidgey, Cinnabar City Gym, Sabrina's Jinx. See, this card freaks me out a little bit. We got a Fire Energy, a, Sub a Sabrina's Psyduck, Lieutenant Surge's Rattata, Koga's Weedle, Misty Seal. Let's get a big hit for the one and only alien, Giovanni's Meowth. There it is! He is from another planet. I have actually confirmed this. We got an Erica's Venusaur. Another huge hit out of here. One of the top five that I mentioned in the beginning. Um, I mean, this card literally can go for $1,500 in a PSA 10. The only thing is with this one, this one is also off-centered pretty bad. This one would not get a PSA 10, unfortunately, but still a really awesome pool to get out of here. 
Um, this card in a PSA 9 is still 200 bucks or so. So let's check out the Hollow as well. This one's pretty hard to grade because if you check it out, Venusaur is all the way to the side here, and you have all this Hollow in the background. It's also really light, so any scratches or anything like that will come up. So I'm seeing a print line right down the middle there, if you guys can check that out. So this one at the most would be a PSA 9, and this one is actually off-center where it possibly could get a PSA 8 even, but... We'll have to see what PSA says about this one. But there it is. Pack fresh. Erica's Venusaur. Number one hollow coming in for the one and only Alien. So let's go. Alien is on his third pack here. Can we pull out another hollow? And these packs are just really fighting me right now. So I like to try to keep them nice on the front at the very least. So here we go. All right, Alan. Two, three, four. Alan the Alien. Coming in on the last pack. Let's go, let's go. We got a Blaine's Rapidash. Erica's Clefairy. Another hit that we have not got yet. Fusia City Gym. The Lightning Energy. Sabrina's Abra. Giovanni's Magikarp. Again, guys, these non hollows that we're pulling out of here. Misty's Psyduck. You guys can look. You can't even find a lot of these. Blaine's Rhyhorn. Another Sabrina's Psyduck. A Chaos Gym. But hey... You got an Erica's Venusaur, one of the top hits in this box. Uh, Price-wise, probably the third most expensive. An alien, I got you covered. Here you go. Here's your bag, custom-made with the alien emoji. Drawn by yours truly, PokerRev. So, thank you so much for participating. I have a feeling this isn't going to be the last that we see of you in these live openings. Guys, we're hitting 800 live viewers right now. Thank you so much for being here. You guys must be sharing out the video because everybody seems to be finding this. If you're just joining up right now, I'm going to let you know. We're opening up a booster box all the way back from the year 2000 that is worth over $6,000. The box is over 20 years old. You can pull out the Charizard. You can pull out Venusaur, Misty's Golduck. These cards are all worth thousands of dollars in a PSA 10. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the next person here, and it's going to be none other than Grayson M., so everybody wish Grayson good luck with the pools. We got a super chat from Gamer Mania Poker Rev back with the legendary pools. Hit me back on Instagram would mean a lot. I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for the super chat. We're coming in here for Grayson M with one pack. So can we pull the magic out of one pack? And guys, if you stay till the halftime, we're almost at halftime, we're getting there. If you stay till halftime, I'm gonna announce the winners from last week's giveaway we had multiple winners and i'm gonna announce the next giveaway so it should be pretty awesome so here we go four from the back james r in the house what's up brother looked forward to this all day thank you so much for being here james another regular you've been here since the beginning even though we are still technically in the beginning of uh of our youtube channel here we got a koga's ninja trick but thank you it's always awesome to see you here dmas gaming what's going on 800 plus viewers let's go smash the like button says dmas Thank you as well. Always awesome to see you here as well. Really, really, there we go. We got an Erica's Jigglypuff. So this is another non-holo that we haven't pulled yet. And there are definitely Jigglypuff fans out there. So I would be surprised if this actually is a really nice artwork for Jigglypuff. I'd be surprised uh, if this card didn't go for at least 30 or 40 bucks in a PSA 10. Koga's Pidgey. And we got a Koga non holo But you can actually pull this card in a holo form. We did not get it right now. But hey. It could still be in there. So they did a hollow form of all the trainers in this set as well. I think that's why this set has 20 hollows. Because without those trainers, we'd be at 16. So maybe they did 16. They decided to throw the trainers in as well for this and Gym Heroes. Uh, we might never know. But here we go, Grayson. Here are your cards. So you definitely have good non hollows As I always say, I want to re remind everybody, you can always grade the non hollows because... So there's a huge market for that. There are people out there that want complete sets. Complete sets, including the not hollows. So we're going to keep it going because next up we have Brendan S. Brendan S is going to be getting one opened and keep it one sealed. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up. Um, we're going to open up this one, I would say, and then we're going to keep this one sealed. So I'm just going to throw this in a bag like this. I'm going to close it up. And then I'm going to throw on the security Seal of approval approved by me. So here it is. Seal of approval going on there. That just makes sure that you're getting the exact pack that you see here with the serial number, the signature, and the date. So there we go. We're going to open up this next one. Everybody wish Brendan S. Good luck. Let's go. We got to get the Charizard. So 
last week, last Tuesday, uh, I pulled two Charizards, two base set Charizards. So can we do it again? So here we go. Coming up, we got a Rockets Minefield Gym. Sabrina's Hepno coming in on Giovanni's Meowth, Fighting Energy, Blaine's Rhyhorn, Sabrina's Psyduck, Lieutenant Surge's Rattata, Misty's Seal, Giovanni's Meowth. We got the Blaine's Volpix. That's a good hit. And a Giovanni non holo trainer. So, no holo out of this one. But you do have one more pack that's staying sealed. So, we'll maybe if you do open it, let us know how you do. If you get anything really awesome out of that pack. So, here we go. We're going to put this one in your bag here, like so. And then I'm going to throw in your other sealed pack. We got a super chat from James D. Uh, you need to buy this first edition Neo Destiny and open it. Ooh, yes. I think I was talking to you on Instagram. If that's the same person, that would be pretty crazy. Let me know if you guys would want to see a first edition Neo Destiny box. Those are probably the top three most expensive booster boxes in the hobby. So next up, we have Luke K getting one pack opened up. So let's see if we can get one pack magic for Luke K. Here we go. Oh, we got Matthew C. If we get a thousand views, can you open another box? Woo, that would be pretty crazy. The thing is, I actually, what I do here is I pre-sell them on the PokeCave.com. So the only thing is that we need to sell before we do the opening. So I usually give everybody a week's notice beforehand. But if we get a thousand viewers, tell you what, if we get if we hit a thousand viewers tonight, I will open up a, another random pack of something. I'll let you guys know what it is when I figure it out. But if we get to a thousand, that's what we will do. So here we go. Giovanni's Meowth. We got a Brock Scrabbler, a Psychic Energy, Brock's Diglett, Giovanni's Meowth, Misty's Staryu, a Warp Point, coming in with a Sabrina's Ghastly, another good hit. Transparent Walls, let's go. There we go, we got a Giovanni's Gyarados. I love this artwork for Gyarados. Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I'm gonna throw this one in a sleeve and let's see what we can do here. This card in a PSA 10 is worth around 300 bucks. So there it is. Let's see, that's looking really clean on the hollow. I don't see anything at all. So the front is looking, it's a little bit off left to right. It might be enough for a PSA 10. The backs of these are looking pretty good. So there we go. We got a Giovanni's Gyarados coming in clutch for um, the one and only Luke. So there you go, my friend. Throw this in here. Super chat from Edwin. Hey, Poker Rev. Awesome. Oops, I just lost that. Uh, awesome job with the channel. When is the Jim Here's booster box opening happening? Hopefully soon. Well, here's the thing. We keep it a secret until the very end of videos. So what I can say is it will happen. I can't say for sure if it's going to be the one after this box or not, but you guys can count on it. What we're doing here, I'm trying to hit. I don't think I've told everybody this yet, but I'm trying to hit. Almost every booster box ever made by Pokemon. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but I think I think we can do it. Of course, the first is in base, though, is the only one that would be the most insane thing ever, ever. If you guys don't know, first is in base boxes are worth like $70,000 ballpark. It's hard to get an exact price on them, but that would be actually insane. So here we go, guys. We're going to keep it moving. Coming up next with Andy S. And Andy S., you're going to be getting... How many packs are you getting? One pack. All right, so after this pack, I think... No, we got another pack and then halftime. All right, Andy S. One pack. Can we get the magic? Now, I think... See, I've already lost track of the hollows. If everybody knows... If anybody knows in the chat how many hollows we hit, let me know. Uh, so, yeah. Here we go. I think we're... At, I'm going to guess five hollows, which actually is pretty much spot on for being halfway through the box. There should be, on average, six on each side. Harry C, just started collecting. Love your channel. Thank you so much for the super chat, Harry. Really awesome to hear that. Now, there are so many different things you can collect. Here we go. A Misty's Dugong. That is a first time we're seeing this card. This is an uncommon. Sabrina's Psychic Control. There's so many different things you can collect in Pokemon. It is just the coolest thing ever. You can go for vintage. You can go for modern. You can go for sets in the last 10 years. Sets that you grew up with. You can go for PSA cards, binder sets, sealed collectors. There's so many different things you can do. Sealed toys. I try to hit on as many things as possible because I love every aspect of collecting Pokemon. We got a Koga's Arbuck non hollow. That is a really nice artwork for Arbuck. I really like that one. So, non hollow coming in uh, for Andy. 
But hey, you got a bunch of really cool non hollow cards here. So I'm going to throw your cards in a sleeve here. And let's keep it going. Let's see what else is going on. Again, guys, you got to check out the mods. They're all in the chat right now. Links are all in the description below. Trainer Trey just did a really awesome video on his YouTube channel. It's kind of like a music video with an opening. Now, if you guys have seen Trainer Trey's work, it's absolutely insane. The guy yeah, is just, he's so talented with the video, the editing, everything in between. I watched one of his videos and I actually feel like I need popcorn and a soda because I feel like I'm at the movies. That's how awesome his work is. I, I kid, I'm not even kidding. So if you check out his link in the description down below, you guys, you, you guys are definitely going to enjoy it because I know I have. So here we go. We're going to keep it moving here because next up we have Christian S going in with one pack. So here it is, the last pack until halftime. And again, halftime, I'm going to show you guys what we're giving away here. So here we go. Everybody wish Christian good luck here. And we're hitting, we're almost at 900, guys. Again, if we can get to 1,000 live viewers here, I did promise I'd open something else, another pack of something. So if we can get there, I will definitely do that. So here we go. Sabrina's Jinx to start off. The Creepy Jinx. Brock's Vulpix. Koga's Weezing. We got a Water Energy. All first edition, guys. So if you guys don't know what first edition is, it's right here on the side. That is the stamp. And then down here below, it's 132 cards set. So that is the entire set there. 132 cards. That's a pretty decent size set for um, sets back in the day. Sabrina's Ghastly. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. That is a really good hit there. We got a Koga's Coffin. We're coming in on the last. Can we get a one more hollow to finish off this left side? Oh, we can. We got a Giovanni's Machamp. Another good hit there. So I'm going to sleeve this one up in a penny sleeve. So here we go. This card in a 10 is, is worth about 150 bucks. But this one as well is off-centered, so it would not get the PSA 10, but let's check out the hollow. So you always want to check out to see if there's scratches or anything like that. This is another one where the Pokemon takes up most of the screen there. Um, so here we go. And then uh, the, the hollow, there's not as much of it there, so it's easier to agree. But unfortunately, this one's going to be too off-center, in my opinion, to hit the 10. So still a good pull uh, for one pack, right? So only, only going for one pack, getting a hollow fresh out of here from the year 2000. Is definitely a plus. Can't beat that. So here we go. I'm going to throw these cards in a sleeve. And then I'm going to put them in the bag. P3Z. I opened up some packs on Sunday. Jack B. Hey. Okay, Jack B. Yes. I believe. Yes, I do remember you. So Sunday. That was awesome. It was heating up in here on Sunday. Because on Sunday we had a stream that was over two hours. We went back in at the set called Flashfire from the year 2014. Pulled out so many Charizards. I don't know how I guessed it. I guessed 10, and somehow we pulled 10 out of there. So we're going to keep it... Actually, no, we're not going to keep it going. So next up, I'm going to announce the giveaway winners from last week. We had Mark Bird, who's going to be winning... Who won these two PSA 9 Japanese Hollows, Scyther and Victor Bell. So shoot me an email. Link is in the description down below to my email. And Quest for 151, I already talked to you. You watched this go down. You got a sealed jungle booster pack because you were the second winner because we hit 1,500 likes on the video. So, guys, the give, I'm giving something actually pretty cool away here. I haven't done it before. So, guys, again, if we can get this video to 1,500 likes, there'll be two winners instead of one. So, I think, I think you guys can do that. You've been consistent with that. So, the first winner for this video, first of all, if you want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do in the comment section down below, not in the live chat, you can do it after the video is over because comments are disabled until the video is uploaded after the live. So in the comments, I want to know something. What did you guys name your rival in the Pokemon Game Boy games? Because you could name a nickname for your rival. Now, normally it's Gary, but I'm sure there were funny names. Uh, make sure to keep it clean because I know a lot of people probably had some funny names that were inappropriate. But guys, the first winner for that giveaway is going to be... And make sure you like and you're subscribed to the channel. So you're definitely entered. But... Here we go, guys. I just enabled gift cards on the PokerCave.com. So the first is going to be a $25 gift card for anything you want on the PokerCave.com. That'll be for the first winner. Now, my wife, Veronica, colored this in because I don't have a color printer, and I am not risking it going out to FedEx to print out some color. Not, not what's going on today. And then the second winner, if we get 1,500 likes, will also get one. And this one was drawn by my two-year-old daughter, Amelia. So she did a really good job here drawing, coloring this one in. So there it is, two different gift cards, $25 each. But guys, we're going to keep it going here, and we're going to keep this opening going. So next up, we have Albrich H. And Albrich is getting two packs 
opened up as well. So here we go, Outbridge. Good luck to you. Keep it going. And guys, again, for the giveaway, let me know what you named your arrival in the Pokemon Game Boy games. Keep it clean, but I want to know because there are definitely some funny names I've seen out there. I myself have done a lot of funny ones as well. So starting off strong with Lieutenant Surge's Eevee. The print says, order a color printer. Come on. Yes. Sabrina's Haunter. I will. I definitely will. And I'm not risking it to go out to print and color. But hey, we got, we had everybody involved to be able to color those in, which was a lot of fun. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. Koga's coughing. We're coming up on the last card. There it is. A Sabrina's Alakazam. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Another hollow pool out of here. So this one as well is off center. So this is the first time we've seen multiple cards off center in the Poke Cave. Usually they're all on center but unfortunately these ones are going to be off center this one is not going to get the 10 just be i can tell just by looking at the centering there but there we go there we go james r with the super chat know what gyarados is going in your frame i'm making oh too kind thank you so much uh, i saw some of your work we were emailing back and forth that was looking really cool james but here we go sabrina's alakazam so a nice pack fresh out of your first pack um for Albrecht. So you got one more pack coming up here. So let's see what we got in this second pack. Hopefully, hopefully it's starting to get closer to the Charizard pool. We got seven hollows in, I'm gonna say. Again, I kind of forgot here, but I'm thinking it's about seven so far. So here we go. Boom, coming in for the next pack. Four from the back. Let's see what we can do here. We got an Erica's Clefairy, Blaine's Rapidash, you got a Sabrina's Mr. Mime, Grass Energy, Sabrina's Ghastly, Transparent Walls, Brock's Geodude, <clears throat> Erica's Paris, Giovanni's Nid Nidoran, there we go, and Giovanni's Nidoran uh, female and then male. So, or, f yeah, f female, no, male and then female. <laughs> and then we got a Sabrina, it's a non hollow and this one again can be pulled in the hollow form, but hey, one out of two packs, pulling in, the Sabrina's Alakazam looking really good there. So there it is. Two packs down for Albrich H. So there you go. Put all your stuff in a bag here as well as your loose non holo cards. And guys, we got to get the Charizard out of here. Like I said, I've been known to pull Charizards. Can we do it in this gym challenge opening, guys? Let's get the luck going. Let's see if we can get some Shamrocks, some Lucky Charms, all that stuff in the comments. So here we go, guys. Put that one in there. Boom. There we go. Jack Blair changed my name so you can recognize me easier. Yes. So that is one of the things here. I'll get to that in one second. Uh, so next up, we have Alexander. Oh, and they actually get one pack. And we're going to keep it sealed. So I'm going to throw that in here. Um, yeah, that is the one thing I used to get people's payments. We used to do it through email and privately through PayPal. Uh, so... It was easier to match up who was who. Most people had their username on either YouTube or Instagram linked to it so I could tell who was who. But when I started taking orders on the pokecave.com, it goes by your, just your first and last name. So it's kind of hard to link some people up with their, you know, their usernames on Instagram and, and YouTube and all that stuff. But there you go. We're going to throw this one in another bag for Alexander O. We're going to keep this opening going and see if we can get the Charizard. We still need the Charizard. We need Persian. We need Arcanine. Uh, there's Beedrill. That one's worth almost $1,000. I think it's around $750. So here we go. Next up, we have Kevin V getting one pack opened up. Super chat from Pokemon Enthusiast just joining. I forgot. LOL. Best of luck, everyone. Hey, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the super chat. It means the world when people are joining up for these live events because honestly, these are the most fun that I have making videos. It's hanging out with you guys, opening vintage packs up, and seeing what you guys are going to get out of these boxes. So. Cannot do this without you guys. So here we go. Viridian City Gin. Giovanni's Nidorino. I like this card because it reminds me of that song, I'm on the road to Viridian City. You guys remember that one? Lieutenant Surge's Raticate. Psychic Energy. And then we got Lieutenant Surge's Ratata. Koga's Weedle. Misty Seal. Come on, guys. We got to get the Charizard. It's about time to pull the flames out of this. There's some fire. Now, can we get it? Oh, we got a blip. My heart skipped a beat there. Blaine's Ninetales, it's a non holo So that one, the Ninetales is looking like, uh, just got done a diet plan there. Looking really thin, Ninetales, but there you go, non holo And guys, again, the non hollows especially the rares, 
definitely worth grading for sure because finding a, a PSA 10 Blaine's Ninetales nowadays, definitely a challenge for sure. A gym challenge. That's going to be my one joke for tonight. That's going to be it. <laughs> Pokedeek. Charizard luck. Thank you so much, Pokedeek, for being here for the Super Chat as well. You always come in handy with the luck. So thank you so much. Let's see if those flames are going to get us the luck here. Because I think it's about time, right? We got to get this Charizard. So here we go. Coming up next, Riley S. Coming in with one pack open up. Can we get the one pack magic for Riley S.? See what we can do here. And if you guys want to check out the back of these packs too, we got the curved Wizards of the Coast logo there. The official Nintendo licensed product seal, expert level. Because if you opened these packs up back in the day and you didn't go for theme decks, you were an expert apparently. So I can tell you this, I was not an expert and I was opening up booster packs when I was a kid. And I not, did not know the first thing about collecting or battling or anything like that. So, but here we go. Viridian City Gym. Gio Giovanni's Nidorino. We got a Lightning Energy, a Brox Geodude. And guys, I lowered the mic down a little bit because a couple people told me that their ears started bleeding a little bit when I pulled a hollow out. So I did everyone a solid. I, I lowered the volume down. I kind of tweaked it so it should be better. Hopefully you guys can have the volume up and not... Oh! I completely forgot. There's Blaine's Charmander in this set. Uh, so this Charmander, we haven't pulled at all. We've opened like more than half the packs and did not pull any Charmander. So I could tell you guys this card in a PSA 10 is, I would say, probably worth at least 40 bucks easily. A Blaine non holo but that Charmander is really awesome. Really like that artwork. If you guys want to check it out one more time because we haven't seen it. It's just a common, right? Number 60 out of 132. But for some reason, that's the first time we're seeing this card out of here. So a lot of the older sets that we have done, especially Fossil, Jungle, those sets... The cards, the cards in there, there's it's such a low number. I think it's like 60 something. So you constantly see the same non hollow commons, uncommons, and even some of the rares. But this set, since it's 130, it's definitely you got to kind of mix it up a little bit there and see the different card artworks coming out of packs. So that's the first common that we saw for that. So coming up next, we have Cody M. And Cody is going to be getting two kept sealed. So two there, and then one opened up. So we'll go with the Blaine. We'll open that one up. We'll keep the two Kogas sealed. So I'm going to throw these in here. And we're going to keep it going. JB with the Super Chat. Uh, it seems there are two Jack B's. Hashtag double trouble. Yes, I guess there are two. What do you know? That's pretty interesting. We have the same two Jack B's in here. So I'm going to throw these in here for Cody. And then we're going to open up the other pack. Lootbox TV is in the house. Oh, here we go. King Bellsprout. Is sending the blessings. So thank you so much, Lootbox, for the super chat and sending your blessings in here. Hopefully, that is the one that's going to do it. Because if you guys saw my top 15 video, I had the Bell Sprout as the second to last card, and I called it as Lootbox Luck, and it worked. So maybe we can do that again. So here we go, Cody, coming in. Oh, actually, I got to put your other cards in here as well. So put that to the side. But Cody, here we go. Let's see if we can get some magic out of here. We're almost at 900 viewers, guys. Can we get? to the 900 mark and possibly the 1000 mark so we can open up another random booster pack that I have not decided on yet, but I will find one in the Poke Cave. There's always booster packs to open here. So four from the back going in. We got Juice and Andrew in the house. You guys, you guys already have to know Juice and Andrew, but here we go. Brock Sandslash. So hopefully we get the luck there. Boom. James R, you missed the second super chat. Got to get a win some way. Yes, got to get a win. Thank you so much, James. Sometimes I do, unfortunately. And then we got another Charmander. Sometimes, unfortunately, I do miss the Super Chats, and I apologize for that, but I always go through and try to make sure I catch everything that we missed here. So here we go. Misty's Horsey. Miss. Uh, oh, we got another one. We doubled up on Giovanni's Gyarados. So there we go. This card, again, is $300 in a PSA 10. Now, the centering is a little bit off the other way this time. Instead of that way being thinner so this one it's probably a little too off to get a 10 i think that one's kind of close but here we go let's see if there's any print lines i'm not seeing anything the hollow is really really clean on this one centering left to right is a little bit off there the back is looking really good centering on the back is good enough and i don't see any way that could possibly make it as a 10 tough call guys uh, i am not a professional grader 
but I've been around long enough and submitted enough cards to kind of get the idea of what they look for here. So there we go. That is a good hit. And you already have one hollow out of, and then you have two more packs that you can open up there. Jack B. <laughs> this is J Jack B from the UK. Where's my twin from? Oh, the Jacks have met eye to eye here and they are chatting. So there you go, Cody. You got two more packs. Good luck with the other two as well. So we're going to keep this going because we still have a lot more packs here to open. There's still probably about, I'd say like 10 more at least. So we still got to get the Charizard out of here. I think we're about eight hollows in so far. So Theodore S, you're going to be getting two packs opened up live. So here we go, guys. Everybody wish Theodore S, and you've been here before. You are a returning uh, purchaser here. So thank you so much. Let's see if we can get you the luck here tonight. Pokey Attic Bernie in the house. I'm in the house too. It's a blessing. Morphin Time. Deke Loot Box. Poke Attic, Poke Attic Bernie. Zard Pool coming. Hey, those are all great people there that you mentioned. And it is Morphin Time. I do. I collect a little bit of Power Rangers. So that's cool if you collect the, that as well. Another 90s era uh, show that a lot of people collect it and watched back in the day. Blaine's Do Duo. Sabrina's Drowsy. I remember the head, the flipped one for the Power Rangers. I want to get one of those, actually, now that you mentioned that. A Misty's Magikarp. Come on, let's go, let's go. Blaine's Growl, get the Charizard. Lieutenant Surge's Secret Plan, a non hollow but you still got one more pack here, so let's see if we can make the magic happen for Theodore. Here we go. Come on. Some, okay, we got uh, Hugh calling Charizard within the next four packs. So here's pack number one, Hugh. Let's see if your prediction is going to be right. Hopefully we can get at least one Charizard out here. So here's the thing. We doubled up on Gyarados. So it is possible to pull more multiples of other cards. So can we get two Charizards? It's going to be tough. We're coming in close to the end here. Koga's Kakuna. We did not pull this one yet either. Lightning Energy. Transparent Walls. Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb. Coming in on Giovanni's Nidoran. Rock's Geodude. Fervor. Blaine's Doduo. And a Giovanni's Pinsir non Hollow. And this card... Is only in non hollow form, but that is a nice non hollow pull out of there. So, there you go. Here are all of your non hollow cards. So, hopefully, we're coming up here on a Charizard soon. Because, guys, there's again, there's 20 hollows. So, it is kind of difficult here because there's only going to be 12 hollows in a box out of 20 different hollow versions. And sometimes you can double up as well. But hopefully, you guys in the Poke Kid can bring the luck and bring the heat. Book of Beast. Thanks for another opening. You're a beast as well. Hey, I love the name there. Poke of Beast. That is a strong name. You are a beast, sir. So here we go. Coming up next, we have Stephen P. And Stephen is going to be getting two packs. Now we're getting these two packs opened up live. So here we go. We got Sabrina coming up first. And then Blaine. JB in the house. Australian J JB. Any other JBs? Ooh. So we're, we're ha we have communication between the two twins in the chat. Uh, loot box is saying, let's get a hollow. All right, loot box. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can make it happen, loot box. Brock's primate. Air. Ooh, oh. <laughs> you already know. You already know, Juice and Andrew. There is the bell sprout that we've been looking for for the luck. Because King Bell Sprout is in the house. And we got the Machoke. And we got the fire energy. Now, if, if these are not all signs, coming in here that there's going to be a Charizard in this pack. I don't know what is. Everything aligned up perfectly. We got Misty Staryu. Koga Zubat. Let's make it happen. Let's get the Charizard out of this. P oh, there's a Blaine's Arcanine, though. I will take that. That is an awesome, awesome pull out of here. We got the Blaine's Arcanine. Guys, this is one of my favorite, favorite Arcanine hollow cards. Looking really, really nice. Just look at that Arcanine. Like, just... Mid, like, look like it's about to... The, I saw the red, and it's even Blaine's. Like, that, that is just toying with us right now. So the Blaine's Arcane, Arcanine, the centering is a little bit off left to right, but it might be enough for a 10 there. Um, What is this card worth? It's worth, like, $1,200 to $1,300. The PSA 10. The Bellsprout King brought the luck here on this one, guys. Check it out. Oh, but unfortunately here, we got print lines on this one. So this one, I'm going to say, is not going to get a 10. But still an awesome pool. So there it is. Blaine's Arcanine. Look at that. I mean, that just check that Arcanine out. Looking really fierce. 
that that might be my favorite Arcanine um, artwork. It's hard to say because there's so many awesome artworks out there. But that was just the first pack for Steven. So can we get another Hollow out of this next pack? I, it's it's possible, guys. It's possible. So let's keep it going. Coming up next on Blaine, I believe from Cinnabar Island with the Magmar. So here it is coming in. Now, I believe that was an epic battle there. Charizard versus Magmar. Now, Ash could not beat him back in the day. And it was the same thing. He had to train, gain the trust of Charizard somehow, right? Charizard never wants to listen, ever. Even with that battle, he definitely didn't listen. So there's Misty's Tears. So this is the first time we're pulling out a Misty's Tears. This one is banned in the Japanese version for a different artwork. And I have a bunch of those in PSA 10 that are actually really cool to collect. But... Lootbox TV with the super chat again. The king has spoken. Yes, the king has spoken, Lootbox. You called it. That is all you right there. The Bellsprout appeared as soon as you, you summoned the Bellsprout army. So thank you so much for that. But let's see if the Bellsprout army is going to keep it going. Oh, a Brox protection. Not in hollow. But thank you. Everybody say thank you so much for Lootbox for being here. Uh, really appreciate you showing up to the lives. Really awesome to see everybody from the Pokemon community coming out and enjoying these together. We're over 900 live viewers, guys. That is awesome. Can we hit the thousand mark? Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're just joining up here and this is your first time being here in the Poke Cave, my name is PokeRev. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday, we are doing live vintage booster box openings, opening some crazy stuff, and not just live now. We're doing other things too, like Flash Fire, um, or not just vintage, we're doing Flash Fire, um, Hidden Fates, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to stick around, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. And also, make sure you let me know what you named your rival in the Game Boy games. You'll be entered to win a $25 gift card to thepokecave.com. And we'll have two winners if we get 1,500 likes. But here we go. We're going to keep it going. Franklin R is getting one pack opened up. So here we go. Let's even get one pack magic for Franklin R with the Blaine artwork. Let's get it. Here we go, guys. We still need to pull out the Charizard. Can we do it, though? Can we get the Charizard, right? We need, we just, even though we get one at this point, ooh, I think Juice and Andrew are still here because the Bell Spout King spoke. And that was the same as last time we got the Machoke. We get another fire after this Golbat grass. Okay. Okay. Hey, the Bell Sprout is always a good sign. It's better than Durant's. Because if you guys saw the flash fire opening, the Durant's were everywhere. We got a Koga's Muck Non Hollow. So there we go. So that one was also a grass. And we had the grass energy as the first one. Let's see if that theme continues in the next booster pack that we open up here so how's everybody doing tonight again guys we're stuck inside with all the craziness that's happening out in the world but the good news is we can always hang out in the pokey cave at 6 p.m eastern standard time and myself it actually is helping me a lot as well because i feel like i'd be going crazy if i didn't have this stuff going on three times a week but we're gonna keep it moving on here because next up we have um a bell so a bell is getting um, one pack opened up live. Just want to double check that one pack opened up live. So here we go, guys. One pack opened live. Boom. Let's keep it going. So here we go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Oops. Tore that one a little bit. These ones are definitely a little bit harder to open. Some of these are like butter and they literally just fall apart. So here we go. Four from the back for a bell. So let's see. If we can make this happen, Sabrina's Kadabra. Ooh, Erica's Ivysaur. So that's another good hit there. Master Ball, Psychic Energy, Giovanni's Nidoran. We got an Erica's Paris, Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb, Brock's Geodude, Blaine's Charmander. Now we're seeing Charmander all the time, right? Sabrina's Abra, and uh, Sabrina's Gengar. That right there is a really good hit. Because if you guys check eBay, the last one of these auctioned in a PSA 10 for over $100. This is probably the best non hollow rare that you can pull out of this box, I would think, value-wise. Because this definitely has a chance. I mean, look at this centering. That is good enough. And guys, you could probably tell why this card 
sells for over $100 in a PSA 10 because check out that Gengar. That might be, this is a bold statement, this might be one of the best Gengar's artworks in existence. I mean, you got to just take that in. You got the moon in the background, Gengar super close there, looking really good, guys. That is an awesome pull there. Definitely would recommend grading that card up. So there you go, Abel. That is an awesome pull there. So I'm going to throw it in. All your cards in this sleeve. We're going to keep it going because, guys, we still are hunting for the fire. We're hunting for the one and only Charizard himself. Will he appear last minute in this epic booster box opening? I don't know, guys. It's cutting it close at this point. We're down to probably about... Let me show you guys how many packs we have here. We're down to four packs. Can we do it? Can we do it is the question. So... Next up, we have Jamie S. getting one pack. And this one actually is going to be stain sealed. So I'm going to throw that in here. So now we're actually down to three packs, guys. It's going to be real close. I think by Arceus himself, Blastoise, the king of, of, of everything. Every Pokemon out there, Mewtwo. I'm trying to name all the legendary well, Blastoise isn't legendary, but we got Blastoise93, who is legendary, in the chat. All the legendary Pokemon coming together here. Can we do it? All right, guys. So we got William S. getting one pack opened up. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know why I just did that. Let's go and see if we can do it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! One, two, three, four. It's time to get the Charizard. Sabrina's Psychic... Control. Erica's Bulbasaur, another really good hit there. In a PSA 10, I would assume at least 40 bucks. So this one is going out to William S. Everybody wish William good luck. See if we can get the one pack magic. Misty's magic card. Another good hit. Another good hit. A Sabrina Hollow. Yes! We got a hollow out of here again. It's not the Charizard that we've been looking for, but it is a Sabrina Hollow. Now this one is also. Looking like it's off center, left to right. Probably too much uh, to get a PSA 10. But if it did, it'd be worth around 225 bucks. Let's check the hollow out. The hollow is looking really clean. Unfortunately, it's the centering on on a good chunk of these hollow cards that are coming out here that are a little bit off too much. Now, this is the first time in the Poke Cave that we have seen centering on majority of cards coming out not perfect. Like um, all the other openings you guys watched, we had the craziest centering going on but this happens sometimes uh but good news is hey and you got it out of the sabrina pack out of one pack point of hollow either way in a psa 9 is 100 percent worth it so congratulations um to william on your hollow pool you got a lot of good non hollows as well guys somebody is saying mk bmx is saying last pack is gonna have the zard guys that'll blow my mind if we could do that on the last pack we're coming down to it guys we're coming down to the last two packs. This is going to be our last two chances to get the uh, the Charizard. Because here we go. Okay, so this one coming up second to last is going to be for Brandon S. But the thing here is with Brandon is that it's going to be for his daughter, Annabelle. So everybody, you have to in the chat right now, wish Annabelle the best of luck on this Pack here, because guys, we haven't pulled the Charizard out yet. Can we make Annabelle's Knight and pull out the fire out of this pack? So here we go, Annabelle. Let's get you a Charizard out of this second to last pack. Everybody wish Annabelle good luck here. So we got four coming in from the back. We got to make it happen for Annabelle. We got the Erica's Ivysaur. We're starting off really strong here with a really nice card. And this is a really good artwork for Ivysaur. Sabrina's Kadabra. Come on. Psychic Energy. Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb. Koga's Zubat. Everybody's wishing you the best of luck in the chat, Annabelle. So can we make it happen? Misty's Horsey. Blaine's Doe Duo. Come on. Yes! We got a Koga Hollow for Annabelle. That is what I'm talking about. There it is. You got the luck tonight. Everybody in the chat, chat gave you the luck. Your dad 
bought, got you the pack here and pulled out a hollow Koga looking really awesome there. So you got yourself a really nice pool, the Koga Trainer Hollow Card. So I'm going to throw this one in a card saver as well. Now this one in a PSA 10 is worth about 175 bucks, but this one is looking like it's got the the off center a little bit there, but hey, this is still awesome. You could still get this grade at 100%. So you got a hollow at a one pack there. So really awesome to see that. So there it is going in to the bag here. All right, guys. So this is going to be it. This is the final, the final, final, final pack in the box. We're coming up on right here. Can we make it happen tonight? Can we get the Charizard out of this box? Guys, this is it. Let's take a moment here and get ready. Last pack magic. If you exist, now is the time to start. All right. This is going to be it, guys. Can we get last pack magic on the Blaine's Charizard? This is for everything right here. This final Sabrina pack. Can Sabrina use her psychic abilities to make the Charizard appear? Blaine's Charizard. So, guys... Make sure you stay until after this last final pack is opened because I'm going to announce the next booster box opening, which will be available right at the very end when I show it. So here we go. Sabrina's Kadabra, Erica's Ivysaur, Master Ball, Fighting Energy. Here we go, guys. Misty's Poliwag, Blaine's Mankey. We're getting so close to 1,000 viewers. We didn't quite get there. Giovanni's Machop. We're at like 950. Kogus Pidgey, guys, the last... Pack, can we do it? Can we make it happen? We got a Koga's Arbuck, non-hollow rare. So that is gonna be the last pack there, but I'm gonna show you guys right now the next box that we're gonna be opening up and you guys are gonna see this one because this one is looking really, really insane. But I gotta get up and get it because I'm Poker Rev and I forget things all the time. So here we go. We're gonna pull out this booster box and I have it here in this case. So I don't wanna show you guys yet, but here we go. Take it out of the case. And here it is, guys. The next booster box that we're going to be opening up live next Tuesday is going to be none other than a first edition Neo Discovery set. Guys, this set has some of the most difficult cards to grade in a PSA 10. Some of the rarest. I'm talking about Umbreon, Esbreon, Tyranitar. So many insane, insane cards that you can get out of this set. These are available right now on the pokecave.com where you can pre-order your packs. But other than that, guys, you're going to want to check this out because coming up in two days from today, not tomorrow, but the next day, on Thursday, we're opening up a Fire Red Leaf Green EX Era Booster Box where you bought Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. So many insane cards can come right out of this box. And that is not all because we do three openings a week. Coming up on Sunday is going to be in this giant case here, I'm going to switch the camera because this case is so big, but it's going to be cases, yes, cases of hidden fates, tins. We're going shiny hunting because in here is 12. We're opening up five cases. I literally have no idea how I'm going to get through five cases live, but it's going to be with you guys because we're going for shiny Charizard, of course, but all the other shinies, guys, and that right there is going to do it for our live First edition Gym Challenge Booster Box opening. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and make sure you enter the giveaway. But that is going to be it. Make sure you check out the mods. The links are in the description. Hope you guys have a great, great night, and I will see you guys on the next one.